So I should probably get a, give you a little information about where I'm at. Uh, right now I'm at my neighbor's fishing in his pond. Uh, he's, he's over there fishing himself. And me, I'm trying to get a little mess of fish to do a catch and cook. And while he doesn't have a YouTube channel, he's out here for the same reason. He's been coming out uh, for the last week and catching a little mess of fish each night to, to fry up and I kind of want to do the same and nothing's off limits we're not going to keep any massive bass but if we get some bass in that 12 to 15 inch range we're, we're certainly going to keep them for table fare along with any crappie and bluegill oh there's a fish Feels like a small one though. Yeah. Wow. Smallest fish of the day. I think so. I think my bluegill was there. Alright. There's one I'm gonna keep. Good. Right there. He will be a nice eater. Yeah, another little dink. Feels like a bass. It is a bass. Oh yeah. You gonna eat that? Yeah, you know what? Uh, Joe at Capper Outdoors would call that a 20 inch bass and Randy over at Father and Son's Fishing he would flay that all day long but he's just a little bit too small for me come on come on oh yeah And another one. Oh, nice. Oh, hey, you got doubles, Camden. Huh? You got a double like there. Yep. So Camden here just got a nice bass. He'll make some good table fare. You better get uh, better get your grandpa's pliers to get that one out. Yeah, it's hunting in the throat. With the gears. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, God, the one's bleeding. Oh, there's another double. Oh, he just got off. All right, so my other camera went dead. The battery died on it. All I'm down to now is the GoPro. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I'm probably going to fish for another, I don't know, half hour to an hour. I'd like to get a couple more fish on the ice. But uh, I figured I'd quick get this clip in and say the next time I see you will be in the kitchen cooking these things up so here we are back in the kitchen getting ready to deep fry up some of these fresh fish I caught 
As promised, I've been looking forward to doing a catch and cook for a long time. But before we get started, I want to share two quick stories. This pot here, it's my favorite pot for deep frying. I love this thing. And this was, this actual pot, this very pot, was a Christmas gift from my father to my mother back in 1963, their first Christmas together. In conjunction with that, I used this deep frying thermometer. And this was my grandmother's, I'm guessing was purchased in the 40s or 50s, maybe the 60s, from LaSalle's for $35. But I love using this thing in conjunction with that pot. They both work great together and there's some history behind it. Now this is going to be a pretty easy process. The batter that I like using is Drake's batter. I've used this for years for fish. I, I just love it. And the only other seasoning I'm going to add to that is a little bit of lemon pepper. But in one of these bowls I'm going to crack a couple eggs, put a little milk in there, stir that together and make a wash to dip the fish in. And then they're going to go into the dry batter, which is the Drake's here. The oil I'm using is peanut oil. That's just my preference for deep frying fish. And I'm going to get that oil up to 375 degrees. That's when I'll put the fish in. The temperature will go down to about 350. And these are only going to take maybe four or five minutes the most. The only other thing that I want to get done here, while that oil is preheating to 375 degrees, I'm going to get a little pan or a plate to put some paper towels on to put these fish on once I take them out of the fryer. I might end up doing these in two batches. Too bad you can't smell this. And there you have it. There's my first catch and cook of 2021. I know I've been long overdue. My buddies Randy and Don have been busting my chops about putting one of these together. So, here you go. Thanks for joining me here today on Chick Happens on this Catch and Cook. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, cheers. Oh, and speaking of Catch and Cook, Titus, I'm looking forward to seeing yours. I think you were challenged not too long ago to put one of these together. <laughs>